Yeah. I don't know. Just because. Because he did it Friday and had time to think about it all weekend. Uh, yeah. Thought he could I do better. Because I got 10.01 on Friday, and I thought for sure I could get under yeah. 10, and it didn't happen. Didn't? Uh-uh. Yeah, doing this was a tough, tough game. Oh, look at the questions. All right. Would you guys introduce yourselves real quick? Okay. Um, Kip Glass. And Kim Glass. So guys, you're our members of the month. We have a couple questions we want to go over with you guys. What's your, we'll kick it off with, what's your favorite lift? Kim, okay, you want to hit that off? Yep, my favorite lift would have to be deadlifts and cleans. I like them both. What about you, Kit? I would say cleans, just um, not really used to doing them and not real good at them yet, but yeah. like, to, like to get better, like to get stronger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite one? Um, right now, anything with double unders in it is exciting for me because I just got them. Oh, nice. So I'm really happy about that. And I just got handstand push ups. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Kipping or regular? Kipping. Awesome. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Um, anything that's got kind of heavier weights and less yeah. cardio. Okay. And um, I'm so I keep up a little better that way. Cool. What's the accomplishment slash benchmark you're most proud of since starting CrossFit? Hmm. You probably running, wouldn't you say? Yeah, my running's gotten better. Feels better. Yeah. You probably. Um, hmm. You're getting those every day. You do something. Yeah, I mean, I'm setting small goals for myself and working on them after class for about 30 minutes every day. So <clears throat> I've gotten my kipping pull-ups down. I've gotten my handstand kipping push-ups. Um, and the double unders, I was killing myself trying to get those. I got some shin splints. But now all three I can do fairly well. So, yeah, that was a big accomplishment for me, cool. being able to get those. What's, um, how has CrossFit impacted your daily life? I, it's made me feel like I'm capable of doing more than I ever thought I could do, especially the ages that we are. I came in the first you know, couple weeks thinking I'll never do these things, and now I'm doing them, so it's making me kind of look at my life just different daily. Like, I can do more than I thought I could, and it's, it's really exciting. Yeah, really enjoying it. I thought I was in shape when we came in here just because, um, <laughs> but found out real quick that, that I needed a lot to work on, and yeah. so... It makes me feel, it makes me, my heart feel better. Just feel more energy throughout the day, nice. even though you're tired and sore and sore every day. But just makes you feel good. It's a good kind of sore. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And his cardio has gotten so so, oh, so much, much better. better. We went to the beach this last lum summer, and I made him run with me on the beach, and he hated it. Now he's passing me. Oh, nice. here. <laughs> yeah. So he's doing so good with that. Awesome. Yeah. So let's get to the fun part. What's your favorite cheat meal? Or favorite meal of the day? Breakfast. Yeah. Charlie. Good old Charlie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love breakfast. Yeah. I love eggs and oatmeal or eggs and cream of rice every morning. I look forward to that. That's the best meal for me. I'm, I'm luckiest man on earth because I think every meal, because she cooks like a five-star restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> on, um, she loves to cook and she's up at five o'clock and I like to cook. Um, the eggs, turkey bacon, um, it, um, cream of wheat. Yeah. Then um, supper, she just gets goes crazy with that. But I think last night we had two inch thick pork chops and um, potatoes and carrots. And yeah. So. I like to cook. That's my favorite pastime. That's good. Yeah. Well, so if you're cheating. <laughs> What's your favorite cheat meal? Oh, Charlie's with us in this interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my favorite cheat meal, I'd say um, pizza or cheeseburgers with bacon and blue cheese. Yeah. Um, it's just beer. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. What's um? What's one piece of gear that you cannot go without? <laughs> in the gym. My spandex underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that rower gets a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love my jump rope I got for, I really think that was a big part of me getting the double unders um, technique too, but the jump rope is, is really nice. What kind of jump rope? That I purchased. It was a mill spec oh, yeah. jump rope. 
Um, and I just got knee sleeves. Is that what they're called? Knee sleeves. And I used them today for the open. And I, I felt like they were probably a big reason I did a little bit better than I thought I was going to do. Okay. They felt good. So right. I'm definitely going to plan on wearing those when they apply to the workout. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that was a good purchase. So last two here. Do you remember how you originally heard about CrossFit? If so how? I heard from him. <laughs> um, Kenny, me and Kenny Younger used to work, work out together every day for a couple of years, and um, I think his roommates came here and, yeah. and tried to talk him into coming for a while, and we just decided to um, practice on our own a little bit before we showed up here, and then, then came on, made the switch. Nice. So it's been good ever since. And I followed them. Yeah. <laughs> we were all going to American Family. Yeah. It's Same. been a really good change for us. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Like the camaraderie. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. The people are so different than the other gyms I've been to. Yeah. So nice. Everybody's warm and it's just fun. It's a fun environment. Awesome. Makes working out fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the screaming. Yeah. What, uh, <laughs> what kind of advice do you guys give for gym members? Um, I'd say when you come in to try it, um, just give it time. Hang in there. Keep coming because everything's hard at the beginning. You can't really do a lot of everything unless you're you know, pretty special. Yeah. You gotta work at it and practice, but it, it really does come. I mean, I honestly did not think I would be doing the things I'm doing. I just started in November, and I'm doing a lot of things I would have told you, I'll never do that. So stick with it and keep coming, and then people support you and give you advice, and it's, it's really a great community. Awesome. Yeah. I think just listen to the coaches and um, just take their advice on your lifts. And, um, yes. Uh, about all of them are so good at, at helping you and get you stronger and making sure you don't hurt yourself and just just stay with it and that's a really good point and it'll all come together yeah cool. mm -hmm. awesome agree all right guys thank you so much for joining us today and uh congratulations thank you yeah thanks